back. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but this one, this month I'm going to try to focus more on the house plant tours. Maybe I'll throw in a plant care video in there, but um, this is going to be the basement plant tour. All right, so right here is a Sansevieria Laurenti, and if you look down here, you can see um, the growth. Right here is a German ivy cutting. And here are some propagations that I did a pro I did a video on these two months ago. They're growing. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma and an oxalis. That it's been blooming. It's got more blooms coming, but you know we're just waiting. This is a philodendron brantianium cutting that sucks. It's doing terrible. Except for one vine. Agalanema wintery winehouse, calanchoe, and dead syngonium. So this is a humidity box that I made, and all you have to do is spray some water in it, throw it on top, and they're just totes. And actually the plants are doing actually pretty well. This is a uh, Cananthi Setosa. Now I, I had I think I had a video where I showed this and it looked like ter it looked terrible, but now look at it. In this I, I I give the credit to the humidity box. This is a Calathea Misto and it's got new leaves all over the place and it's just doing great. This is my Calathea Warsquesii. And what I'm finding is the plants with more uh, furry leaves, like the calatheas especially, they don't like the humidity boxes. So, yep. Yeah. This is Calathea leopardina. You can also see how much the roots are growing on these things, um, especially with the tenanthi. It's really helping the root, it's really promoting the root growth. I'll show you. See? I didn't have that when I put that down there. Some of these plants, like the misto here, are just grown remarkably with this. And like this Rosio picta, Rosie, it's growing amazingly with this thing. It's got a nice, it's got a lot of nice soft new growth. And the thing is, this one had three leaves maybe when I put it in here, under watering, is how it ended up in this chamber. Anyways, this is Calathea Macoliano. I've never had any problems with this one. The problem with, the only thing is that this one just didn't do a lot of growing. So I threw it in here and it's done some growing. It's got new leaves. I can see a leaf. I can see another leaf. It's doing all right. So it's nice and full still. Oh, another leaf down there. About that. And uh, Calathea mosaica. And it's growing too. I divided it. I have, I'll show you the other division. There's new growth down here, down over there, over around here. And a little bit of just right there. So it's doing pretty well. And I have a lemon lime moranta cutting in here, but it's just growing a little bit of roots. It hasn't done a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. While we're here, I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Now, every, I put all the plants in the humidity box, and sometimes every once in a great while, I'll just spray everything if it gets below... 50%. A lot of times I'll end up just spraying the plants too, but every once in a while I'll have to spray the, just like that. Create the humidity. And then I'll just seal this. Ooh. And sometimes it's a little bit of a work to get it all sealed without crushing all the leaves. And then I just go right on top. Okay. All right. Welcome back. Now this is a Stromanthi Triostar, and it has never grown this well for me. New leaf there, 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 and I have gotten one lousy new leaf when it was in my room, and it did not turn out that well. I think it's I don't know where it is, but. This one's doing amazing under this under this humidity box. So if you're having trouble with your 
prayer plants with humidity, especially. I recommend this. And it's a great idea, really. I just thought of it. I had some totes laying around, so I did it. This is a Calathea White Star. Hasn't done anything. I'm waiting for it to get a little better. This one's not benefiting as much as I'd like it to. They're alive. They're just not doing well. White Stars are a little bit of a pain. Ferns, I don't think, like this so far. Either that or I just completely underwatered it, but it's starting to grow. So I don't know. Depends on the plant. This is the other Calathea Mosaica, and it is starting to grow too, finally. Right there. So, I'm excited to see how well these plants do in the humidity boxes. There's also another one, but it's just got some deadly looking plants in there that have spider mites and stuff. It's the bug one. So, yep. And there's not, and that, I think that covers it. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Goodbye.